I, mean, I was changing his nappy one evening, and he might not believe it, but I did, on a fairly regular basis, and there was a fun little movement. I thought, it's a bit odd. Took him to the GP, at which point he went, oh, I don't like the look of that, mm. and said, I might be wrong, but I think this is a thing called West Syndrome, infantile spasms. I've never seen it before, it's very rare. As he was getting bigger and bigger, his seizures were becoming much more violent. They were saying the damage that, that happens at this young age is, is catastrophic to the brain. It is a death, pretty much, really. It, you know, it feels like that. It feels like the death of your... of the future of mm. the child, and that that child is not going to have a normal life. Look at him. I mean, that absolutely epitomises who he would have been. I just think we should tell him everything um, mm -hmm. before we make... <coughs> hey! David, 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 there you are, you are, you are. Hello. How are you? We're good. We're a little bit tired, but... Mm. Um, and, and full of information and, and, and overflowing, really. CBD pure no THC, yes. our current thinking is that we that's where we start. I think that's a good starting point. How, what yeah. do you think? And as we've got a pharmaceutical-grade pure CBD product likely to become available very soon in the UK, then I think that's where we should start with Max um, uh, and see how we go grading that up as per guidelines. That's when we can get our hands on it. OK, so how do we do that? So my understanding of this current process, and it's changing all the time, is that pure cannabidiol products are soon and going to be prescribed for personal use. In terms of getting hold of it, my understanding is that the company which is making the uh, pharmaceutical-grade CBD is going to release uh, amounts on compassionate grounds according to set guidelines. I've yet to see the full guidelines, but my view is Max is likely to meet those guidelines. And we hope to access them soon, as I say, on compassionate grounds. OK. And uh, what would be your greatest hope for a result for Max on this? I think we need to manage our expectations because yeah. we are hoping for an improvement in his epilepsy. But as I've said, sadly, it's profoundly unlikely that he would be seizure-free. Yeah. We're, we're not expecting any great miracles, but... Everything's worth a try. Yeah, yeah. So you look like you need a glass of wine and a lie down. So, uh, yeah. Do. All right. Okay. You're a superstar. Thanks, David. Bye. Speak soon. Bye bye. 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 Enough. <clears throat> OK. Good, we've got an agreement. On compassionate grounds, of course. <laughs> it's so harsh to hear it, though. Darn it. <laughs> I thought it was just really harsh. I think David's point is very valid. You know, we're all looking for hope. We're all looking for a solution to everything, every illness, every condition, every ouchy pain that, that everyone has. And if there's a glimmer of hope, um, we'll grab it with both hands, but we mustn't grab it too early. And I think this is the message that, yes, there might be something here, but maybe it's not for Max's time. Maybe it's for the generation after him. <laughs>